Technomancy, also called technomagic, is a term in science fiction and fantasy that refers to a category of magical abilities that affect technology, or to magical powers that are gained through the use of technology. It is a portmanteau of technology and mancy, a suffix used in magical sciences to refer to specific types of specialization or divination. Mancy is derived from the Greek mantea, meaning divination. An early appearance of the term can be found in Steve Martindale's 1990 short story, Technomancy, in the magazine Aboriginal Science Fiction. Topic Theme Technomancy is a common theme in certain subgenres of both science fiction and modern day fantasy fiction, particularly fiction that crosses the sci fi and fantasy genres, as well as role playing games that take place in similar settings. Strictly speaking, though, it belongs fully to the realm of fantasy since it can be magic that is used on technology that presently exists. It most commonly appears in science fantasy. The term technomancy has been gaining usage on webcomics on the Internet, although it is used in a vague sense. It is also distinct from what is sometimes called magitech technology that uses magic, as used by Dolly in the comic The Watch. Magitech considers magic and science to be two parts of one force. Technomancy has magic affecting science, but not working in the same process. Another explanation of technomancy is the combination of necromancy and technology. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Examples. In the Urban Arcana campaign setting of the D20 modern role-playing game, there are two character classes that use Technomancy, Techno-Mage and Shadowjack. In the Dragonstar campaign setting, compatible with the D20 system, there are many examples of Technomancy spells, items, as well as character classes. In the role-playing game Mage, The Ascension, Several Orders of Mages Iteration X, The New World Order, Progenitors, Sons of Aether, The Syndicate, Virtual Adepts, and Void Engineers practice magic with a scientific theme. In the TV series Angel, a character used magic symbols on himself that caused him to be undetected by magic or physical security measures. In the episode Supersymmetry. A villain attempts to trap Fred in a hell dimension by sending her a text message. When she views it on her phone, a portal opens next to her to suck her in. In the TV series Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the character Willow sees magic as a way of hacking the universe, and an extension of her computer hacking skills. She is also seen to use magic on computers to help her access information more quickly, or view the information including pictures inside her mind. Also another character, Jenny Callender is a techno-pagan who uses the Internet as a place to gather with her circle and from which they cast their spells. In the TV series Babylon 5 and spin-off Crusade, technomages were created among individuals across various sentient races, which were then implanted with advanced technology and nanites throughout their bodies, using this advanced technology to simulate the illusion of magic. Kelly McCullough's popular books, Webmage, Cyberman C and Codespell deal with ancient Greek deities and their descendants who have moved magic into the modern world through the creation of the so-called MWEB. In one web comic, Argos, technomancy was used frequently in history. This eventually led to revolt and, some characters believe, destruction of the entire continent. In the browser-based role-playing game, Dragonfable, Dr. Voltabolt is a mad scientist, dentist that is also a technomancer. The race of gnomes in the town of Popsprocket are all very familiar with technomancy. Players can even learn technomancy and obtain the technomancer class armor once they're at least level 30. 
In the book series Worldweavers, by Alma Alexander, technomancy is a critical element to the story. Several characters in the Little Witch Academia franchise, notably Constanze Amalia von Braunschbank Albrechtsberger and Professor Qua, make use of a blending of technology and magic. In the RPG Mutant Chronicles the technicians and medics of the Dark Apostle Algeroth are called technomancers, they normally wear grimy cowls, are short and are normally bald. Non-mystical technomancy In some settings technomancy may be totally scientific in nature in accordance with Arthur C. Clarke's third law of prediction Examples of users of this type of technomancy are the technomages of the Babylon 5 universe, and in Ilium, Olympus, where the supernatural powers of wizards and gods come from an advanced technology. In the Mass Effect video game series, many characters gain magic-like powers through technology. The fourth edition of the Shadowrun role-playing game has characters who can interact with the Matrix the Internet of that setting without using technology and are referred to as technomancers, but their abilities stem from a mutation rather than magic. Shadowrun technomancers are specifically unable to use magic. The term technomancy can be descriptive of the skill of an engineer whose expertise allows him or her to diagnose mechanical problems by observing the machine behavior, in essence, listening to the machine to let it tell him what is wrong. In Overwatch, the character Sombra can instantly hack and control any piece of technology within seconds. She summons up a holographic keyboard that she types on that can hack health packs, other characters' ultimates, or even their basic abilities. In the animated short Blizzard created introducing her, she can also be seen gaining control of a giant robotic arm. In both the game and the short she can render herself invisible or teleport. Non-scientific technology Another form of technomancy, sometimes called «industrial magic», has magical devices operating similarly to technological devices. The Harry Potter setting has owl familiars serving as a postal system, animated newspapers and fireplace embers serving as video screens, phantom quills and parchments as speech recognition software, even flying brooms and orbs as athletic equipment, and so on. The Eberron setting of Dungeons and Dragons has bound elemental spirits powering transportation vehicles. In Atlantis, the Lost Empire for example, the crystal is a supernatural being, but his power was used like a computer program. In Dave the Barbarian, crystal balls and magic cauldrons were used like telephones, televisions and computers. In Adam Sandler's film Click, the protagonist received a remote control that could change the reality around himself. See also Magitech Technopaganism Technopathy <laughs>